Yes, yes, yes. I'm in the building with J Mac and CC right here. Mm. Come on, what are you guys telling me? You guys good? Yeah. Yo, it's Mackin. We're good, we're good, we're blessed to be here. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for having us. We're of course, come on. So obviously I've seen you, I've seen you about on, on the socials. That's how I so I saw you doing your thing. I've seen your videos, GRM, oh, all of that. Mm, yes, on, loving trying, it. You know, that work. Yeah, come on. Let tell them people a bit about yourselves, what you do. Yeah. Alright, so I'm Mac and J Mac. You know what I'm saying? We we like to say we make future nostalgic music. So that's what we do. We create future nostalgic music. Mm -hmm. It's music that you're going to feel in the future. Like you're going to have that nostalgic feeling. But also because we always like to have truth in our music. So without you haven't got truth about the past. So there's where the nostalgia comes in as well. So yeah, we just making tunes. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that sounded hella philosophical. Like <laughs> that was sounded <laughs> smooth. That was smooth. I said to you, that's one of the smoothest replies I've ever had from an artist. Like, Dean Vitz, Dean Vitz. That's Mac, that's Mac. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, so you two obviously work together, mm -hmm. producer, artist kind of thing. So mm -hmm. like, what, what do you do? Like when you get into the studio, what's what, like, what's the dynam dynamic like? Look, the first thing's first, yeah. When Mac comes into the studio, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, it's about making sure he's happy, yeah? Okay. So <laughs> if he's not comfortable, if he ain't feeling it, then we're probably not gonna really work on it. Okay. Anything. But if he's in a good mood and everything's positive, then we're gonna make some bangers. <laughs> I didn't know you were the one to draw me out. I'm joking. Draw, we're getting drawn yeah, out. Yeah, no. It, and I think, yeah, it's different every day, and it's every day is different. Every tune is different. We try and approach tunes different because I feel mm. like you try and make a tune like, oh, I want to make a tune like this tune, mm. like this old tune I made. You're just gonna, you're just looking in the past. You're just gonna be messed yeah, up. 100. You know what I'm saying? So we always try and approach every song differently because every song is different. It's a different story, do you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. So what, do you normally like come up with the beats and then you show them to Mac or do you kind of do the whole process together? Like, uh, I'd say most of the time we do it together. Mm. Okay. I think sometimes I might start a little rhythm mm -hmm. that might be all 20, 30 seconds long, nothing finished. And if Mac likes it, then cool. We're going to work with that and yeah. go, yeah, yeah, go yeah, crazy. Yeah. But There's more been... time, we, we create it from scratch together. Yeah, and so, a couple yeah. times with them snippets. He's not lying. He'll have the 16 second snippet. Mm -hmm. I'll come back with the mad tune. Like, bro, where did that come from? Literally. But we, it depends. Yeah, some a lot of the time we'll sit in, you know what I'm saying, and we'll have bounce ideas, this sound, maybe this theme, you know what I mean? And then try and yeah, make something yeah, out of yeah, it. Yeah, I hear that. All right, listen, I want to show them Midnight Skank. I can't oh, lie. Oh, so t t <laughs> tell us a bit about this tune, though, before we get into it. Like, what's the story behind it? All right, so boom, the story of making it or the story of the tune? Go on, both. Hit right, me with the both. The story of making it is the first time I met this brother. First time Jeez. I met him, he had this beat and it sounded mad. And it was called, I'm not going to lie, I can't even say I made up the title. It's mm -hmm. called Midnight Skank. Mm -hmm. And it was a slower one. And it was a banger. It's on the EP as well. Okay. Two -parter. On the EP, two part, A side, B side. But then he showed me the second one and I was like, rah. So I had to find, I had to find the flow for it. I had to find the mm -hmm. concept. But essentially to me, what Midnight Skank means overall, it's like, you know when you're, it could be on a night out, it could be when you're on your own, you could just be going for a walk, it's the Midnight Skank, like you mm. could be out dancing, you could be just alone with your thoughts, but it's the Midnight Skank, do you know yeah, what I'm saying? I hear that, I hear yeah, that. Yeah, lost on a night out, you know <laughs> the, na the name is hard as well. What are you saying about the beat though? Like, what was you thinking when you was making it? I don't even want to give away too much about the source, you know what I mean? Okay, all right, all right. I see how producers are out here, they try to look at other producers, trying to get mm -hmm. tips and tricks, and I ain't even trying to give them like that. So more time, it's just like whatever I feel and I feel captures the right emotion, that's the right type of beat for me. Right, cool. Mm -hmm. Let's say less, say less, let's get you taking it seriously probably releasing music on the streaming platforms and trying to push it out there about funny enough around 2018 around that time okay that's when i would say i first started trying to push it out there 2018 Sweet. yeah it's hard, hard. What, how about you I, I wasn't involved in music at all most of my life i was focused on, on being an actor i wanted to uh, is that you yeah I, I just wanted to just be on camera i was learning scripts i wanted to work with Shakespeare company. Multi-talented like, right oh, here. Professor, man. This CC is that the professor. You, yeah? well, well, that's what I thought it was until I ended up going on some big depression and then okay. music come and save my life. I ended up building a studio in my garden from mm. scratch and then I've been using music to kind of yeah, I guess no, be my yeah. therapy. Music yeah. is that though, like it's an escape for real. And when you make something nice as well and you're proud of it, like it can uh, really it means everything. Everything, means everything, literally, literally. All right, listen, we're gonna get into the next track, Angel Numbers. Angel Numbers, a new one. 
It's not released, right? Unreleased. Unreleased, Unreleased heat. heat. Come yeah, on. Unreleased heat coming off the still macking project that's well, still macking coming very soon. Very, what very What are your angel numbers? Angel numbers. What are angel numbers? Yeah, no, like, what are your? Do you have like angel numbers that you see all the time, or, or is do, it random? I do, I do, I do, I do. I see a okay. lot of angel numbers, but you know what? It's funny. Uh, it's mm. funny you ask because it's like, I always wonder, like, 50 years ago there was no digital clocks. Yeah. Were people still seeing angel numbers? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's a good one. You know, I've never thought about you that. Look, I got my, I got my angel numbers tattooed oh, on me too. Come on, so you always right see, see even for the always year as well. Always see my angel. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> right, tell, tell us a bit about this tune, and we're gonna play it. So, angel numbers, angel numbers. The title came from. I remember. I think I came back from the studio and I just got this beat, and I was gonna go sleep, and I said no. Nah. I looked at the clock, it said zero, zero, zero. I said, it's a sign, I gotta write this tune. Mm. So you'll hear when it starts. And basically what it's about, is just, I guess, the first verse is like, just, it's a reflective song. It's just okay. reflecting on what's happened, where you wanna go, but where you've been, I guess, more so, and just coming forward out of that. Because okay, I think yeah. it's like you say with music, it is very therapeutic. Mm -hmm. And okay. sometimes it's, it's very indicative of where you were at the time. So I think where I was at the time was very much like, bro, like, I'm doing what I love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just putting everything, all the nonsense yeah, behind yeah, yeah. Hey, you. Yeah, yeah, I'm hey, you know what? Let's get into this. This is Someone angel numbers. Oh, loving that one. Yeah, I love, love I'm, I'm into angel numbers, you know. So <laughs> no that one's. I feel like girls are into angel numbers a bit as well. So that one must. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, I heard maybe, maybe. Like that. I heard something. <laughs> <like that. laughs> Alright, listen. Let's let's talk about some of the stuff that you have right out right now, because yeah. I know I know that one was an unreleased thing, but I wanna wanna let the people know what what they can hear from you that's out right now. So what would you have out for them, bro? Alright, so right now we just recently dropped the shortcut home. Now the shortcut home is another like new garage wave. Like it's not quite old school garage, but it's something. I think it's something special. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, the reception has been decent so far, but yeah, Shortcut Home. There's a video on the YouTube channel that's Just Mackin, J-U-S-M-A-C-C-I-N-N. You can be the judge and it's on all streaming platforms. But yeah, the Shortcut Home, essentially it's like, there's a big theme of journey and traveling, I guess, in our music. And it's because obviously we're trying to get to somewhere, but at the same mm -hmm. time, it's about not forgetting where you've been. Yeah. And home is such a, home means so many different things to so many different people so the shortcut home is about like where is home to you and mm. like kind of finding your way home and i think the garage sound with the rap sound it makes it, it it's fast paced and it, it keeps the tune moving it's very much like that's the journey do you know yeah, what i'm saying 100. like your fast paced journey through life yeah, you yeah. link and you listen to the tune and let me know what you think but it is that kind of this is happening and this is happening yeah, yeah, yeah. and that is happening do you know what I'm saying yeah 100 city life baby city, city, life. city, city life. life come city on come life. on and, and I see you got quite a few music videos out would you say like in the whole process of making a music video do you have a big contribution in it like coming up with the ideas or do you kind of do you kind of stick to just the the like it's all me, it's all me, it's all me. It's no, all I'm joking, no, I'm joking, no. It depends, it depends. I think yeah. it's always a collaboration. Whenever you're working on art, uh, music specifically, be it the video, be it the tune, be it the beat, there's a collaboration, ideally, because yeah. everyone wants to get their kind of mm -hmm. personality on it, so I suppose, but more than that, they want to take it to the best it can be. So there's a couple videos where we've done it then and there, like this is the idea, oh, that looks sick, we're going to do that. And there's ones where there's a whole treatment and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just depends. And I guess, yeah, I try not to stick to the same process because I feel like that's how you just keep it different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's talk about the future though. Mm. What, what, what do you have in store for us guys? Ooh. Too much, if anything. Too much. <laughs> Too much. Come on, come on, give, give, us, give us some sneak peeks, bro. All right, all right. So right now, right now we have still mac and coming out very very soon not gonna give you the date just yet but it's coming soon and still macking is the culmination i think of like the last few years of creating music just mm. this big sound do you know what i'm saying this city sound the life that we're living and just trying to strive um so we're talking ep right ep, EP. vibes yeah ep vibes 14 tracks 15 tracks and it's different, you know what I'm saying? And I say it's different in a good way. Like, it's a big step up from our previous project, Where's okay. the Tape. Rumour has it there's another mixtape coming out soon as well. Oof. Where's the Tape You're season two? I've heard us. it in the rumour. I'm trying to, I'm trying to spoil them, you know what I'm saying? Us. i got a lot to say. i got yeah, a lot to say, so it. I've got got to get it out there, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we got a lot coming up. Just stay tuned, you know, subscribe, well, follow. Tell, where, where can they follow you guys at? Go and plug yourselves. J-U-S-M-A-C-C-I-N-N. -N. That's Just Mackin. Just Mackin. You'll find me anywhere if you type that. 
Alternatively, J Mac, you'll find me on your socials. You know what I'm saying? But Just Mac in J U S M A C T I W N. And oh, yeah, check me out on uh, Instagram, social, uh, all the socials, uh, Spotify, iTunes, Cassius Clifford, CC on the beat, C A S S I U S, Cassius Clifford. Check me out. Come on, that sounded very poetic, bro. <laughs> that sounded poetic. You, we're you lots, with it. We you lots are smooth with it. <laughs> and listen, we're going to get into the last track. Thank you guys nice. so much for coming on here. No, 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 Truth no. They Sold. This is another unreleased. Unreleased. Come Still on, sneak peeks. Come on, <laughs> let's roll. Let's, this Smack is Truth They Told. Let's get it. Mm-hmm. 